So last week, Coach, the, uh, Sorry, the, just... the four walk-ons came on perfectly matching mm -hmm. in sweatsuits. And not that we need that from you guys, yeah. but let's speak to the individual fashion sense of each of these guys. Ooh, that <laughs> is a long conversation. <laughs> I would like to skip over the fashion because the one thing they're very coordinated all wearing BYU gear. I love that. That's the most important thing. Yes. So uh, also also stunningly handsome guys for sure, right? Unbelievable. Is there a rating for that nationally? There should be if there's yeah. not. Uh, the most, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then the best thing is like I, I'm not gonna lie, like I love seeing these guys in full makeup right now. It is <laughs> it is it is beautiful. If they look great, uh, is please tell me Sarah's here somewhere, is she? She's not. Oh she couldn't make it. Co getting Coach Finnell in makeup is not an easy task. So this is awesome. You guys look great. By the way, before we get going with these guys, uh, why are there four this year? What happened? Um, so uh, there's a rule change actually uh, in the NCAA that you could have six coaches on the floor, uh, designated six coaches. And so um, we uh, were trying to expand and grow. And so we, we were really blessed to, to bring on Colin Terry. He's doing an incredible job for us. Awesome having you, Colin, by the way. We'll do this again. Uh, if we could head down the line a little bit, um, if I could ask each of you guys to maybe describe if you have a specialty in your like a coaching specialty that you bring to the team, something a Coach Pope's uh, kind of uh, tasked you with. It's kind of your thing, if you will. Coach Fieger. Um, this year, I would say my specialty, my thing this year is, um, would be recruiting and I would guess offensive game plan for every game. Okay, Coach Robinson. Yeah, I'd like to think that uh, being a jack of all trades, uh, um, you know, being able to assist in everything, right, and whatever is needed to help us be successful. Coach Fennell. Sounds pretty important. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, defense and uh, player development. Okay. And College Terry. Yeah, I think uh, similar to, to Coach Robinson over here, just trying to help out with, with everything as, as much as possible, but also player development as well. So, so these guys are super modest, okay? So, so it, uh, Cody is the director of our offensive side of the ball, which is currently the number seven offense in the entire country, right? Which is super impressive what he's doing there. Um, Nick is essentially the head coach of the team, and that's no stretch of the imagination. He's taking on all the – it really is true. He's taking on all the head coaching responsibilities and stuff of organization and running everything. Kale has taken over the yeoman's task of the defensive side of this ball, which has been spectacular this year. And – then we have our rookie, Colin Terry, who is actually doing everything for us. But they're unbelievable staff. They're really good. So how would you describe, uh, Cody, a coaching family compared to your real family? Oh. Uh, the staff I'm talking about. I would, say, yeah. I would say I see my staff more than I see the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, uh, like it's a special relationship with, with everyone we have this year. Um, you know, we spend so much time traveling. Um, putting practice plans together, game plans together, um, you know, player development, spending time just talking about all of our players. Um, it's just, it, it's, it, it, you know, we like to crack jokes a lot, which is fun, especially CT over there. CT is always <laughs> cracking jokes. Um, no, but we, we, we love to spend time together um, because we're all in it to win. And a uh, uh, great group of guys right here. I love, love spending time with them. Same thing for you, Coach Robinson. Yeah, I think it's been fantastic to be able to learn from one another, uh, to be able to uh, understand uh, what makes one another tick, um, uh, to be able to help each other out uh, when uh, inside jokes or frustrations or uh, incredible opportunities come for us to be able to assist uh, our guys to be great. And so that communication has been really, really fun, um, you know, kind of in the basketball family. Uh, you know, as it compares to our regular family, there's a lot more inside jokes going on uh, here than maybe at the house. Coach Fennell, <laughs> how important is it that you guys be tight as a group that way? I think it's massive, you know, to coach both these guys' points. I mean, we spend so much time together. And if we're not tight, if we're pulling in different directions, it can make it hard uh, from a professional standpoint, just from your peace of mind standpoint. Um, obviously, when you spend so much time together during the week, during the year, um, those times add up and, the, and it can get you know, burdensome. And it can be really, really difficult. And if you're not spending it with people that you trust and people that you like and you enjoy their company, uh, it can make for a long year. And Coach Terry, as the new guy to the group, how quickly was it that you felt assimilated into this uh, unique combination of, of uh, talents and uh, approaches? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I felt it pretty quickly. Um, I, I can't thank these guys enough, and, and Coach Pope as well. They've, they've been so supportive and helpful to me, you know, just transitioning 
uh, into college. College is a different game, different uh, situation there. And so, um, man, I've learned and grown a ton just in the short time that I've been here. So Coach Terry joined the staff, and as a welcoming gift for him, you gave him a trip to Europe. Yes, yes. <laughs> him and Nate. So <laughs> Colin, Colin, Colin uh, got staff, what was it, a couple days before yeah. he left, right? Yeah, like 48 hours. And <laughs> Which was spectacular. He came to us from the professional ranks where he'd, he'd done an unbelievable job. And even more incredible is Nate Austin is our director of basketball operations. So he had to plan the entire trip, and we officially got him on board 48 hours before we left. And so there's a lot of details in there, but it was fun to have those guys. And it was actually a great, it, this trip wasn't just a great experience for our players, but it was a great experience for our staff to really grow together. Uh, if you had to, uh, uh, a signature word or phrase of Coach Popes that you could identify in a heartbeat. Coach Fieger. Um, you know, anytime a guy makes a big play or does something like that, I always think of this Trevin no or something. <laughs> <laughs> this fill in the blank, yeah, this, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Coach Robinson. Um, it, it, it might be a different adjective, but uh, he'll go very high pitched, right? <laughs> this is amazing. Coach Fennell. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I can hear it when you're saying it, by the way. I can hear it in my head. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I, probably super. Everything's everything's super fun. Like, <laughs> Ali hurt his back. Oh, super fun. Great. That's great. Super fun. <laughs> Doesn't sound that great, but everything, <laughs> everything's super. So yeah. Coach Terry, very energetic about everything. So yeah, that's that's the best way I feel like. No I word that he says. Oh word. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, where do I begin? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. Okay, <laughs> you, you got time. Uh, as you kind of assess your, your your assistant's gifts and what they bring to your group, I mean, how important is it to, to what you're trying to accomplish as kind of the figurehead of the program, what these gentlemen do uh, with you? It's been, it's, I'm super blessed. It's been brilliant because I've actually stepped away from so many things where it's just these guys. Like, um, and so I, I can actually step away and focus on some of the things that probably only I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to do just because of the position and then leave so much of the real work that goes into winning these guys and just the trust has been beautiful. I, I'm, I'm really blessed with the incredible staff that I trust and they're doing unbelievable things like what they've done this year has been spectacular. We still have a lot of games to go yet in this season. Coach Fieger, if you could, uh, to this point in the season, maybe describe for, on behalf of your, of your colleagues here, what your guys have accomplished as a team so far to this point. I mean, um, we've kind of been underdogs throughout the whole year. And, um, you know, uh, the, my favorite thing that we've done is just like we've been just tough and nasty in just about every single game this year. Um, you know, everybody talks about us defensively, how tough we are this year, rebounding-wise, um, and then offensively just us, us sharing the ball. So just how aggressive and decisive we've been. Um, yeah, there's been so many great things that I've really enjoyed this year with this team. And a quick hitting sense, same thing for you, Coach Robinson. What kind of sticks out to you right now at this yeah, point? Yeah, I think what sticks out is really the connectedness of our guys um, and their willingness to accept the challenges that we present to them um, day in and day out, week in and week out. Um, but, you know, this summer we really challenged them to take ownership of the team uh, and be better leaders. And they've been through their ups and downs, but they're continuing to grow and grow and grow in that process. So that's been really, really fun to see. Can I get a few seconds from the two of you as well before the break on that? I just think the way they've continued to exceed expectations, right? I think, you know, Coach Fieger made the point where, you know, expectations weren't necessarily the highest in the conference or nationally. And I think the way they've continued to fight and, and fight through all of that and, and really kind of prove themselves to be the, the team that they are has, has surprised me at some times, right? Mm -hmm. and it's been really special. Coach Terry. Yeah, I think coachability, uh, the most coachable group I've ever been around. So it's been really fun to watch and be a part of it.